welcome to TechTrade's demonstration of IBM's new product for backup and recovery of VMware, the TDP for VMware 6.2. Tivoli Data Protection for VMware is part of the IBM Tivoli Storage Manager for Virtual Environments suite. It utilizes VMware's vStorage APIs for data protection, including block level incremental backups based on VMware's change block tracking. It offloads the backup workload from virtual machines and production ESX hosts to vStorage backup servers. It provides flexible recovery options, file, volume or image from a single pass backup. It provides near instant restore of Windows and Linux disk volumes. Data is made available immediately while it is copied in the background. It simplifies data administration with the centralized Tivoli Storage Manager console. TSM for virtual environments is supported on TSM Server version 5.5 and above. It also automates the discovery of new virtual machines, therefore automatically applying backup policies. Let's now have a look at that single pass backup process. We're now going to backup our guest virtual machine. Our machine has got a C drive and a D drive. As you can see, the C drive has about 12 gig of data. And our D drive, it has about 200 megabytes. Now let's minimize the guest virtual machine. And we're now looking at the desktop of our VMware backup proxy. We've launched the TSM backup archive client. We're using version 623 of the client, which is the minimum level for use with the TDP for VMware. To start off with, let's have a look at the kind of preferences we can change. As you can see, VM Backup has its own tab in the, pre in the client preferences. We can select the VMware Full VM Backup type, and we can select different options for the domain backup types. We can choose whether we want to specifically backup a selection of virtual machines, or whether we want these policies to apply to all virtual machines on an ESX host or cluster. We put in our user credentials to access the virtual machines so we can back them up on a VMware level and we can select the vStorage API method of backup. Now let's perform our backup using the backup VM menu option. As you can see straight away the backup archive client has picked up all the ESX hosts which I have access to. It can automatically see the virtual machines and of course I've now selected my guest virtual machine to backup. I'm going to choose the full VM backup and this is effectively a full backup because I've never backed this virtual machine up to my TSM server. The backup is now transferring directly to the TSM server via the proxy. My speeded up backup is now completed and as you can see of the 20 gig inspected which of course is the C and D drive added together it only needed to transfer the 12.85 gig of data which actually exists on those disks. This takes advantage of the VMware change block tracking feature. This avoids transferring unused white space to the TSM server, therefore minimizing traffic on the network, but also reducing the overall storage requirements on our TSM server. We're now going to perform a block level incremental backup of the same virtual machine. We're going to make a slight change by adding a copy of one of these files. So as you can see, I've copied a file and we've now got some extra data to back up. 
Once again, I use the backup archive client and I select my virtual machine to backup. This time, I'm choosing the full VM incremental backup method. This is taking advantage of VMware's change block tracking feature to only back up those change blocks that have occurred since the last backup. As you can see, the backup happens much quicker and the only bytes which are transferred are those 6 meg which have actually changed since the last backup. From this backup, we're able to perform a variety of recoveries. The first recovery we're going to do is a full virtual machine recovery. This is very useful when it comes to restoring the system drive of a virtual machine and avoiding the need for bare machine recovery tools. We're just going to restore the C drive of the Windows Server as an image. Let's start off by deleting the virtual machine that we've been backing up. Of course, I powered it down before deleting it. But you'll see, as we look at the vSphere client, the virtual machine is now gone. We now need to restore the virtual machine from our TSM backup. We use the backup archive client and we locate the virtual machine which we've been backing up. We can now see the full and incremental backups which we've been carrying out. We're going to restore this virtual machine from the most recent backup which of course was the incremental. We have the option to restore this virtual machine to its original location or we can choose a different name, data center or host. The recovery has been speeded up slightly for the purpose of the demo, but bear in mind this is of course restoring the whole virtual machine as an image. Going back to the vSphere client, we can now see that virtual machine has been restored back to the host where it came from. I'm just dragging and dropping it back into the folder where it lives, and now we can start the server. Return. As you can see, this whole recovery process was simply a case of restoring one image. It didn't involve a two-step recovery of rebooting halfway through. It didn't involve me restoring the system state separately. It was just a question of copying the image back onto the ESX host. Of course now, I'm logged back into the server and we can get up and running as soon as possible. Just to prove the point, I'm going to open the file. On the same backup, we're also able to perform near instant file level recovery. Using the TDP for VMware snapshot mount tool, we're able to mount snapshots straight from the TSM server back to either the VMware backup proxy or back to the virtual machine itself. We can then perform simple drag and drop file recovery back into the virtual machine file system. I'm now logged in to the operating system of my guest virtual machine. I've launched the data protection for VMware snapshot mount tool and I'm now pointing it at the TSM server to which I've been doing backups. I can select the virtual machine and then specify which snapshot I want to recover data from. I've chosen to mount the E drive which I've been snapshotting and has my user data on. I'm creating a virtual volume and assigning it a drive letter of F. Now when we mount the snapshot it will appear within Windows Explorer on my guest machine. As you can see Alongside E, I've also now got the F drive. This contains the data which I've been backing up using the TSM Backup Archive client. I'm now going to copy a large zip file back onto the desktop from this mounted snapshot. 
as you can see, this data is quite clearly coming from the TSM server. I'm simply proving the point that these backups are held on the TSM server. I've got this stored on TSM disk storage pools. Notice how the bytes sent on the TSM server is incremented as the data has been restored back to my virtual machine. Also using the TDP for VMware tool, we're able to perform near instant volume level recovery. This allows us to restore data back to the virtual machine file system and users are able to access the data whilst that re recovery is in progress. The software simply prioritizes blocks of data to restore earlier as and when users open those files. Once again, we're on our virtual machine guest. We're going to now delete the contents of the eDrive, that same drive which we've been backing up using the TSMVA client on the proxy. There's nothing in the recycle bin. The data's totally gone. We specify the TSM server from which we want to restore the data from. As you can see, password protected. And we select the virtual machine, which has been backing up to TSM. Select the snapshot, and then the drive we want to restore. Click on Restore. Specify the drive into which I want to restore the data to. Quick warning to let us know that the data is going to be overwritten if there is any there. And we kick off the restore straight away. So what's going to happen is it's going to unmount the E drive. As you can see that's happened. And then the E drive simply gets remounted and you'll be able to see that the file structure is immediately visible. The restore is still running and yet we're able to view the files and open them. I've opened a PDF file and it's simply the software prioritizing blocks of data to come back sooner, therefore speeding up the recovery of that specific file. With this, I can get users up and running sooner before the restore has totally completed. The time it takes to do the restore will be as long as it takes to restore files from one server to another over the network, disk to disk. As you can see, this data has been restored from TSM, straight from TSM disk storage pools. This is a perfect solution when used in combination with the full VM recovery we looked at earlier. For further information on the TDP for VMware and other IBM Tivoli Storage Manager products, please drop us an email at info at techtrade.co.uk. Also, visit our website at www.techtrade.co.uk